Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alax and I'm here to bring you the top 10 meta heroes for season 16. Alright, here we go. For number 10, we have Jawhead. Jawhead is a fighter that is good for offlane and ganking enemy heroes. He is very annoying because you can throw them to allies with a second skill and charge at them with a third skill. A great Jawhead wouldn't mind if he died 15 times as long as he kills the funneled hero. So for number 9, we have Diggy. Diggy is a bird, an owl, whatever you want to call it, that can easily irritate opponents with its egg bombs with its first skill. And of course, it can prevent enemies from escaping with its second skill. Of course, we wouldn't forget her ultimate. Her ultimate, the time journey, is a very annoying ultimate because it counters all CC heroes from doing their job and can win team fights for your team. So for number 8, we have Sylvana. Sylvana is a fighter that can stun enemies with its first skill and deals a lot of damage, pulling back enemies with the second skill. Of course, it can trap any heroes with its third skill, making it easier for killing funneled heroes. Of course, for me, I would say that Sylvana is the best fighter in the game at the moment. At number 7, we have Nana. Nana is a support that has been in the game for the longest time. Its Molina is very annoying and its ultimate can really help during team fights because you can stun enemies in one go. Also, her passive is very very hard to deal with because she can have unlimited lives if you can't kill her after she turns into a dog. So for number 6, we have Atlas. So Atlas is the tank that deals the craziest CC. Atlas can make enemies slow by using any skill, which is his passive and has also insane mobility with its second skill. Of course, the Atlas wouldn't be complete without its ultimate that can basically power bomb the whole team to its allies. At number 5, we have Valir. Valir is my favorite hero, or I would say my go to pick because of how good this mage is all around but it's more useful defensively for creating space. It has unlimited first skill if it keeps hitting an enemy hero and pushes them back with a second skill. Of course, its ultimate is crazy because it removes all CC effects from him and it enhances its other skills, increasing his movement speed, which is great for team fights. So for number 4, we have Carry. Even if this marksman is underfarmed, Carrie can easily catch up to the snowball because of her passive and true damage. It makes her very dangerous from mid game to late game because she can literally rip your tanks apart and make them cry. So for number 3 we have Grok. Grok, more likely known as the Invading Initiator. Grok can easily invade opponents by just using its first kill and it's passive which he gets faster when he's beside a wall and together with its retribution. He can easily trap opponents with its second skill and of course disorient them with the third skill. Grok definitely has it all in terms of CC, mobility and damage which can destroy your team. So for number 2 we have Claude. Claude is the one that can easily kill your entire team from mid to late game because of its tremendous speed from stacking up. The hardest type of Claude to deal with is the one that has Purify and Wind of Nature. It basically counters all marksmen and all the CC effects around it which makes it hard for him to get killed when he is using his ultimate. He is the most used hero in the funneling strategy because of his potential late game. Of course, this video wouldn't be complete without honorable mentions. So first in our honorable mentions list is Harith. Harith can easily snowball like Ling once blue buff has been obtained. Although it will have difficulties with high CC enemy heroes such as Chu, Kufra, and Guinevere to name a few. So I suggest for Harith to be paired up with Diggy so it can easily move around the map. So next in our honorable mentions list is x -Board. x -Board is a great team fighter that can help in the mid game and late game by killing squishy heroes with its ultimate. It's the best fighter to use for tower diving since the tower will reset once the ultimate has been used. 
Export that has great damage and durability but has less mobility compared to Sylvana and Chu. So up next we have Selina. Selina is a very tough hero to deal with because once it's used properly, her Abyssal Trap and her Abyssal Arrow can scare opponents to death. So for number 1 we have Link. Link can dominate the game from start to finish because of how easily he can get a kill when he has the blue buff. The blue buff makes his energy generate faster, thus he can stack up kills with Bounty Hunter and can snowball pretty easily. Of course, once Link snowballs, it's practically game over for the damage dealers since he can easily harass them by taking their buffs while just standing on a stone or whatever he is standing on. That's it for today's video. Please state down below your opinion of your top meta heroes for this season and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.